Welcome to another episode of Getting Dirty with Glenn. I'm not sure uh, how these videos are going to be out in the sink. I think this will be the first or second one out that we have. Um, I want to do a quick overview, not getting into the technical aspects of it, but a quick overview of the new Trek Marlin Plus series. This is a Trek Marlin 8, comes in a 6 and an 8. Trek Marlin is the number one, I think, model for Trek for all their bikes. It was considered an entry-level mountain bike because it's got front suspension, uh, just a really well-built bike. And last year, I guess in the fall, they released an e-bike version over in Europe. And on February 1st, it was released here. And I purchased this at Trek, I'm sorry, at Wheel and Sprocket in Fox Point. <laughs> in Fox Point. Now, I've modified a lot of things on this. I wanted to do a, a video of what it was like, how I got it from the dealer. But... I pushed the wrong button on that camera. So today we're going to the old uh, reliable Pocket 3. Um, comes in two colors. This is, they call it purple, but uh, when you get up here, it actually is almost a blue, depending on how the sun hits it. It goes to watermarks, then it goes to black. I like this better than the other option. It was like a mustard, dark brown kind of thing. I'm sure people like that. Not my thing. Uh, it's got front suspension like the other Marlins had, the, the 8s had. I had this modified. If you look in here, um, I always have this headset uh, raised because I like to sit more of an Amsterdam style when I ride. So I have that raised. They did that at the, at the wheel and sprocket. And then I cannibalized one of the bikes I traded in. And I took these much more comfortable handlebar pads on here, along with these extenders, which allow me a couple different riding positions. Um, and then I also add these uh, Stamp Brothers, um, or Crank Brothers, Stamp 7 pedals. I'm 6'4", got a size 11 shoe, and these are just great because they got these little pegs that stick out. It's almost like being clicked in or clipped in without being clipped in. Because if you're clipped in, you know it's not if you're going to fall over, it's when. You just slow down and you don't quite have the right speed to do that. I also have these pedal extenders in here. Let's see if I can get it. These pedal extenders are about a half inch, three quarters of an inch. Uh, I like, as an ex-ski school director, um, we learned that tall, center, and open is the most comfortable way for your hips. And my hips are a little bit wider than the someone that's maybe 5'7 or 5'8". Those make a huge difference. They're life changers for some people with knee injuries, but talk to your doctors about that. Um, I added, or these are, let me get to the tires. These are tubeless tires on the eights. I believe they're tubeless ready on the sixes, but they've got a nice aggressive tread on them. I only ride on bike trails. I don't ride on the road. I either ride gravel, packed gravel, or pavement. And I got this, uh, Rack here, they didn't have any in stock at Wheel and Sprocket, so I had to get this one online. And it'll work good because I have Arkell pannier bags for on here. Um, just missing a loop down here for the pannier to hook onto, but I've got a smaller set that will work on here. It's got a drop seat, and what the drop seat means is this lever right here. You push this lever, and then this post will go up and down. And that works out great. Um, this post going up and down works great. If you're riding a more aggressive single track and you want to drop it down out of the way, you just squeeze that lever, ride it down, stand back up, now the seat's out of your way. Or, since this is not a step-through type bike frame, if you get done riding, you can just lower the seat and then it gets it much easier to um, get off of there. It's a Bosch Mid-Drive, Active Line Plus, and they have a great app called Flow that makes your phone into pretty much a dashboard for the electronics and I'm going to be get they have it's not released yet but they have a I think it's called power more battery that will sit right there so it extends the life of the regular battery which is encased in this tube which is also removable that battery if you need to but extend your range about 65 percent I don't really like the space they have in here anymore for uh, water bottle cages uh, it just seems hard to get at. So Bike Case is a local company here in Wisconsin. Uh, great no-slip attachment, just Velcro, and it's got soft rubber underneath, so it's not going to go anywhere. That's for my water bottle. On top here, uh, they've got a great color Purion display. 
which um, I'll put a link into a guy that's got a great video uh, about this, but it's a great Purion display. Um, and they also have different speeds. Uh, they have one called Auto, so you don't have to adjust your power. It'll just adjust by itself. He's got Eco, Tour, uh, Auto, and Turbo. So it's a great color display, but it works great on your phone. I've got this uh, rear view mirror. I like to have that when I'm riding on bike trails. And I got tired of my phone falling off. I've got a video, separate video of this getting installed. But this is a quad lock phone mount. You need a quad lock case for your phone, but your phone will not go anywhere. I've got this one mounted on here. I've also got another one that I took off another bike that I may put on here that's got a little more suspension built in. It's kind of like, I don't know, Build-A-Bear, where you buy the arm, and then you buy this head. I bought a GoPro attachment for this, so I can mount my GoPro on there. Uh, but it's great. Um, I have to adjust it yet to see where I like it. But quad lock is the way to go. Um, probably the most obvious thing, well, let me go back over here first. I've also got a side mount down here for a GoPro camera, or my Action 4 can sit right there. Probably the thing that you may look at this bike and go, Glenn, that bike looks different because it's got this seat on here. I've got a separate video <laughs> on the V seat. I bought one of those last year for a bike I was riding, training for a ride, got five, six, seven hundred miles on it. Not one pain on my sit bones, not one, zero zilch. And it works with any uh, dropper post, seats, spin bikes, whatever. So if you want more information on that, I'll either have a link in the description or just look at the other videos they have on my channel. So that's just a quick overview when they, uh, when they did all this upgrading on the handlebars. Um, the only cable they had to extend was the front brake cable. They had to make that longer, but everything else worked. Like I said, I'm really happy with this. Um, can't wait to go out and ride. It's a gorgeous day here in Wisconsin. going to be like 54 in February. We haven't had a, really had a winter except for a 16-inch storm. It was good for a couple of weeks of cross-country skiing and snowshoeing. But that's a quick overview on the Trek Marlin Plus 8. Like I said, I did a few modifications, and I'll do more follow-ups as I get out and riding this bike. So uh, remember to lead with love and kindness, and I will see you out on the bike trail.